Greetings. Today I'm going to continue with discussing the principles of the deep state. It is indispensable for our purpose that wars, so far as possible, should not result in territorial gains. War will thus be brought onto the economic ground where the nations will not fail to perceive in the assistance we give the strength of our predominance. And this state of things will put both sides at the mercy of our international people, which possesses millions of eyes over, ever on the watch and unhampered by any limitations whatsoever. Our international rights will then wipe out national rights in the proper sense of right and will rule the nations precisely as the civil laws of states rules the relations of their subjects among themselves. It's important to understand what the deep state has done to the earth. The deep state is not limited to only the actors here in the United States. The deep state has been involved in governments around the world. And isn't it interesting that one of their goals was to foment wars among nations, but not with the goal that those nations' territory would change. The goal has been to destroy nationhood. The goal has been to destroy the soul of the individual nations or the, the glue that holds a people together. Look what they've done in the United States in the last few years, especially the eight years of Obama. I do not say President Obama because he was an illegitimate president. He was, he was not qualified to become president of this nation. For eight years, he did everything he could to pit race against race, religion against religion, he did everything he could to tear down the common, the common ideas that held our nation together. Continuing on, the administrators whom we shall choose from among the public with strict regard to their capacities for servile obedience will not be persons trained in the arts of government and will therefore easily become pawns in our game in the hands of men of learning and genius who will be their advisors, specialists bred and reared from early childhood to rule the affairs of the whole world. As is well known to you, these specialists of ours have been drawing to fit them for rule the information they need from our political plans from the lessons of history from observations made of the events of every moment as it passes. The people are not guided by practical use of unprejudiced historical observation, but by theoretical routine without any critical regard for consequent results. We need not, therefore, take any account of them. Let them amuse themselves until the hour strikes or live on hopes of new forms of enterprising pastime or on the memories of all they have enjoyed. Let them amuse themselves until the hour strikes. God says, how my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So many Christians don't even believe that there is a deep state. Do not even believe that there are powers at work that have worked for years, for decades, for centuries, to destroy them. So many people don't understand what the Federal Reserve is. They don't understand 
the betrayal of 1913, the betrayal of President Woodrow Wilson when he signed a law that made every citizen of the United States a slave to the deep state. Christians, the people in general, do not understand the many false flag attacks that have been used to take our nation into wars that the deep state planned and which the deep state carried out. Christians and so many others don't understand that 911, September 11th, 2001, was a false flag attack that the deep state, with the help of leaders in our government, carried out. We need not, therefore, take any account of them. Let them amuse themselves until the hour strikes or live on hopes of new forms of enterprising pastime, or on the memories of all they have enjoyed. For them, let that play the principal part which we have persuaded them to accept as the dictates of science. The dictates of science. We have made science our God, haven't we? We have believed everything that science tells us. And science has lied to us. Science has told us that we live on a globe, spinning fast, traveling through space even faster in a multitude of ways. Science never told us that we live on a flat earth. Science never told us that there is a firmament over our earth that guards us, that keeps us. Science never told us that the earth and the people on the earth are the apple of God's eye. People never told us, or science never told us, that the earth is the center of the universe because the, cent because the earth is the place where God is doing his profound work in these days. Yet we have made science our God, and we have blindly accepted everything that science tells us. Science, the tool of the deep state. It is with this object and view <clears throat> Excuse me. It is with this object in view that we are constantly, by means of our press, arousing a blind confidence in these theories. Oh my, you mean that the deep state used the media and the press to push their theories of science that were untrue? The same press that has lied to us for three years about Donald Trump's collusion with Russia? You mean the deep state has been using the media for that long? The intellectuals of the people will puff themselves up with their knowledge. Oh, you mean like the professors in our colleges? The professors who teach our children how to become homosexual, how to become feminists, how to become socialists? You mean those intellectuals? Who would have dreamed? Who would have dreamed that there were men behind the scenes manipulating our every thought? The intellectuals of the people our professors, our priests, yes, even our priests, our ministers, our pastors, the teachers in our seminaries will puff themselves up with their knowledge. 
and without any logical verification of them will put into effect all the information available from science, which our people, our specialists, have cunningly pieced together for the purpose of educating their minds in the direction we want. Do not suppose for a moment that these statements are empty words. Think carefully of the successes we arranged for Darwinism. What? The deep state was behind evolution? The concept, the idea of evolution? Do not suppose for a moment that these statements are empty words. Think carefully of the successes we arranged for Darwinism. For Marxism, Marxism, communism, socialism. You mean the deep state had something to do with these political ideas that have destroyed so many lives, that have murdered so many people, that have made slaves and paupers out of so many citizens in so many nations, and even now trying to do the same in the, in the United States of America. Let us hope that Trump, President Trump is right. America will never become a socialist nation. There is no incentive to work. There is no incentive to achieve. You become mere slaves, subjects of the state in a socialist society. To us, of the deep state at any rate, it should be plain to see what a disintegrating importance these ideas have had upon the minds of the people. Evolution, socialism, a spinning globe, what has it done to us? It is indispensable for us to take account of the thoughts, characters, tendencies of the nations in order to avoid making slips in the political and in the direction of administrative affairs. The triumph of our system, of which the component parts of the machinery may be variously disposed according to the temperament of the peoples met on our way, will fail of success if the practical application of it be not based upon a summing up of the lessons of the past in the light of the present. In the hands of the states of today, there is a great force that creates the movement of thought in the people, and that is the press. The part played by the press is to keep pointing our requirements supposed to be indispensable. The part played by the press is to express and to create discontent. Think about it. The deep state creates discontent. The deep state creates adversaries. The deep state always creates something to be feared. The press always tells us something to be afraid of. What is it today? Measles. There's a tremendous measles outbreak in the United States. What else is the press causing us to fear today? Red meat. People who eat red meat don't live as long as others. That goes along with the cow fart agenda of the Democrat Party, doesn't it? Why does the deep state always try to get us to dislike, fear, and hate the things that God says 
are good. When God blessed Israel, when God took Israel from Egypt into the land of Canaan, into what he called was the promised land, he said that that was a land filled with milk and honey. And yet today, the press tells us to fear milk. The press, our medical leaders, tell us to fear honey, to fear sugar. And then they give us sugar substitutes that kill us. The part played by the press is to keep pointing out our requirements, which we say are indispensable, and to give voice to the complaints of the people in order to express and to create discontent. It is in the press that the triumph of freedom of speech finds its incarnation. Oh my. Freedom of speech. We've been taught that the freedom of, that freedom of speech is perhaps the highest good in the American Constitution. Freedom of speech and freedom of religion. The Constitution, the First Amendment did not say freedom to express Christianity. It simply used the word religion. And so what has freedom of speech and freedom of religion brought to this country? Freedom of speech has brought us every form of vileness, every form of pornography, every form of abuse, every form of disrespect, every form of casting out truth. And what has freedom of religion brought us? The right to erect a statue to Satan on the state house grounds in the state of Arkansas. In other words, freedom of religion has now made satanic worship as much a right as worship of the one true God. Do you see what they've done is to take freedom of speech and freedom of religion and use it to bring evil into the earth. No one understands this. Everyone is still out there spouting for freedom of speech. To be able to say anything they want, no matter how perverse, no matter how wicked. I've seen idiots in the patriotic movement say, I would die for your right for freedom of speech. That's idiotic. You would die for someone's right to tell another one that he should serve Satan? For someone's right to tell others that they have a right to murder innocent babies as sacrifices to Satan? You would die for that? See, we've been lied to. We've been lied to about everything. It's time for us to awaken. It's time for us to come out of our sleep it's time for us to understand what the will of God is. It is in the press that the triumph of freedom of speech finds its incarnation. But the states of the world have not known how to make use of this force and it has fallen into our hands. Through the press, we have gained the power to influence while remaining ourselves in the shadow. Thanks to the press, we have gotten the gold into our own hands. E. 
even though we have had to gather it out of oceans of blood and tears. The reason for the wars has been to to get the gold, to get the wealth into the hands of the deep state. Today, I may tell you that our goal is now only a few steps off. There remains a small space to cross, and the whole long path we have trodden is ready now to close its cycle. The deep state has been ready to pounce and has been ready to enslave the entire earth for some time. They would have taken control of all things if Hillary Clinton had won the last election. She was their choice. Why do you think there is such turmoil right now? Why does everyone hate Donald Trump? Have you ever seen anything like this? How could it be? How could it be that so many people, so many institutions, almost 100% of the press, of the media, hate Donald Trump? What's going on? What's happening? As we understand the principles of the deep state, we begin to understand what is unfolding before our eyes. If you don't understand what I have said in this video, go back and listen again. Write me an email or a comment asking a question if you don't understand because it is imperative now to wake up. Now is the time to wake up.